Hello, and may the fourth be with you. Um, today is a good day for clipping queens. It's beautiful weather, and uh, there are probably quite a few unclipped queens from super procedures late last year. So I just want to very quickly talk about how to clip queens and how not to clip queens. So there's a common problem that people have when they're clipping their queens is they accidentally injure them. That could be because they squeeze them or they stab them with the tool they're going to clip them with or they cover them in ink from their marker pen and basically drown the queen in ink. So uh, here's how to avoid one of those problems. Um, this is a nail scissors and when I bought this in a shop it had some long pointy bits out here um, for whatever reason they're there, I'm not really sure. They don't seem to do very much. Maybe they're for cleaning out under your nails or something like that. Cleaning gunk out from under your nails or manicuring or something like that. But anyway, they're not much good for, well, they are actually very good for stabbing queens with as well. So I file these off. I actually used a, a bench grinder. You could also use an angle grinder. If you don't have an angle grinder, you could use a hacksaw or just a file. Um, anything at all. There's lots of, not anything at all. Obviously, uh, toothpick isn't going to be much use for shortening your nail scissors but there's an awful lot of tools that would be useful so that's just one quick little tip uh, shorten your nail scissors take the points off of them you'll never stab a queen again with them okay uh, talk to you soon bye